Hey there everybody, a user asked me about creating chess pieces that have people's heads on it. I've got an idea how to make it work, so let's get cracking. Alrighty friends, so to make this we need 3D pictures of our heads. I'm going to use a tool called Bellus 3D. Uh, it is free to download, but once you do download it to actually get access to your shapes, you're going to have to pay a buck per head, but I'm willing to do that so I can get mine. So when you hit scan, it tells you to look at the camera get it so it fits your head. I'm doing the full head scan and then uh, I'll be quiet here and you can see what you have to do to make it work. Look at the camera. Turn left. Turn to the middle. Turn right. Turn to the middle. Tilt your head up. Turn to the middle. Tilt your head down. Turn to the middle. Capture completed. So that is the actual speed that it captures it. And after processing, this is what you got. A 3D version of you that you can have access to for 99 cents. All right, friends, so I did the export. And now I'm in Tinkercad. I'm going to hit import. I exported as an OBJ. Here it is called Head 3D. And I want to make this small to put on a pawn. So I'm going to take the largest size where it was 282. And I'm going to make that 20 millimeters, which is plenty high for a pawn, I believe. And notice when I press enter, it scales the rest. And I can hit import. And let's see what mini me looks like when it gets imported into Tinkercad. All right, friends, there you have it. Mini me, just like that, uh, scanned and I'll hit D to drop it. Boom, ready to be put on a chess piece. So if you were doing this for a chess, you'd have to buy several of these at 99 cents a pop. You may be able to find another app, but I love how quickly I was able to look left, look right, look up, look down, and boom, it got me including the mustache. How cool is that? Alrighty friends, so let's make a chess piece now that we've got the head built. Pawns are usually about five centimeters. I googled that. If you look at a pawn, it's got three or four transitions. We can do this pretty easily with simple shapes in Tinkercad. So here's my cylinder. I'm going to hold down shift and remember we're going to 50, so that means I'm going to type 25, which would be half of that. I want to make it round and then I'm going to change this height to four millimeters. That'll be the base. I do want to bevel and I'm going to put two and I'm going to put uh, 10 on the steps. So it's really pretty smooth. The second piece I'm going to add is a torus. When we bring this out, remember we went four millimeters up. So I'm going to do control up arrow, one, two, three, four. Let's make sure those are aligned. I'm going to make the orange one the master and do center and center. And then I'm going to change the parameters if we make the radius 9. Let's see how that looks. That's pretty good. I do want the sides to be 64 so it's smooth. And then I'm going to squish it so it's a little smaller. And let's see what happens if I make that tube 3, that tube 4. I want to close this center is what I'm doing. Let's try 6. Let's do that radius back to 6. radius five we'll do a radius of seven I like that instead of six high though I only want this to be three high so if we look at our pawn we've just done these two pieces now we need to create this sloped piece coming up let's do that with a paraboloid we'll bring him in once again let's hit a line and let's see if we can just stay stock so this is faster I think that's close enough. So now let's go back up and get a cylinder. Once again, I do want to make it round. I'm going to hold down and make it thinner. We'll stretch it up. Let's click a line once again, center, center. Alrighty friends, so let's take this measurement and I'm going to just use 30 because I like even numbers. And if we look back, we want this piece right here where it is two cones on top of each other. Friends, work plane. Set it on that spot, bring out the cone. Now, one thing I love about the cone is you can simply change these parameters. If I make this six 
and I make this eight, you can see that we've got that slope where it goes from wider to skinnier. Let's make it super round, and I'm gonna set a number of two for that distance. Boom, we just made this piece. I'm gonna come back here, put the work plane on top. I'm gonna hit Control D, and when I hit the letter D, it drops it to that height. Well, now we want the bottom radius to be eight. Let's make the top radius four, and let's change that height to four. And now we have got that transition stage just the way you want it. If you want to change it, boom, there it's three. Let's quickly align all this. Once again, I'm going to put the work plane back on the ground, grab them all, hit align, and choose center and center. Now let's add my head to the project. Friends, I'm just going to lift it up a bit, select it all, click align, center, and do center and center. Now we can click on my head and use the cone to lift it up, or you can do control up arrow to get it exactly where you want. Friends, you have just created a pawn with your picture on it. Let's check our height. We're aiming for 50. I'm at 53, so I'm just gonna bring this down a little. Uh, one, two, three. Do I still like that? I think I do. Let's select them all and hit group. And then let's pick a chess color. And there you have it, the HL Mod Tech Pawn chess piece. Remember in Tinkercad, we always backspace up here and name our pieces. I'm gonna put HLMT, and I'm gonna put Pawn, and I'm gonna put Chess Piece. Friends, once again, this was a suggestion by a viewer. Gary Anthony, thank you so much for asking the question. This was a super cool project, and I had a ton of fun with it. Friends, if you have suggestions, make sure you add them as comments. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. I am HL Mod Tech on all three of those. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. Also, friends, don't forget, if you visit HLModTech.com, you can use the messaging service and reach out to me almost instantly. And of course, friends, if you enjoyed that video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.